So many new players to the violin begin with such a sort of gingerly approach to using their bow. As if the bow might break or something. But what we really want is a dynamic bow arm that moves with freedom, that feels good to move. Right? Combination of slow notes, fast notes, everything in between. So here's a dead simple bow warm-up routine that might just be the best thing you ever did for your bow arm. Now I'm talking about a warm-up that's more than just getting your fingers and your joints moving and more than getting into a focused mental state. This is more of a big picture warm-up. When you do a warm-up, try to create one that will create forward momentum. Create a forward momentum in your playing every time you pick up your violin. Now that's a far cry from typical violin practice where you pick up your instrument and you start hammering away at the notes of whatever piece or song you're working on. And it's kind of an uphill battle where you're constantly grasping for the notes but never quite able to reach them. You know, the best players, they don't fight that uphill battle. They always seem to be cruising downhill when they practice and when they perform. And that's the kind of practice and that's the kind of violin journey that I want for you as well. So with that in mind, let's learn the bow acceleration warm-up. Okay, let's begin by finding the A string harmonic, which is halfway up the A string. I'll just lightly touch the A string and slide up with my fourth finger. There's that A string harmonic. Okay, we're going to use that as sort of a pilot note for this bow warm-up. Now the next thing is going to be to use a metronome. This is kind of helpful, especially when you're starting out. We're going to set up a 60 beat per minute metronome beat for the beginning of this routine. Let's just get a steady motion going to start. Two down, two up. One, two, one, two, one, two. Notice I'm using, you know, most of the bow. I'm using a good part of the bow for this. If you're not comfortable with that, just use a smaller bow. Also, it's really important to have a nice contact point between bow and string so that you're getting a clear tone at all times. as opposed to, or too soft. So we have a nice contact point and a steady motion as we proceed along at 60 beats per minute. Here we go. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. The next uh, part of the routine, the next part of the routine is gonna be a two plus one combination. That's like this. One, two, 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 three. Now, the important part about this is that our up bow is going to be fast, whereas our down bow is relatively slow. So we're learning to adjust the speed on a dime, kind of. And also notice that my contact point might shift a little bit on the up bow compared to the down bow. But the important thing for this exercise to make it work the way you'd like is to use a consistent amount of bow, whether you're doing a two or a one. One, two, one, one, two, one. So it's always the same amount of bow. And my goal here is to accelerate the bow motion, but to also keep the sound of the down bow and the up bow approximately equal. Now we can try 
the opposite combination, which is one bow, one beat, that is down bow, two beats, up bow. So we'll start with two and two, and we'll make the transition. One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. You hear my fingers slipping off the harmonic. After you've done a few, just go back to your two and two. Okay, whether it's full bow or half bow or small bow, it doesn't really matter. Just a consistent amount of bow each time. So that's what I call a three beat combination. Now we can move a little further ahead with this by going to a four beat combination. And I do that with the metronome at 80. So I'm going to adjust my metronome to 80. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. This one, we have a very slow down bow compared to the up bow. One, two. And again, we can do the opposite combination, starting out four, two, three, four, four, two, three. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. Okay, so that's all the combinations at the basic level. And I'm just going to play through them now without narrative so that you can follow along. I have a metronome set at 60 beats per minute. I'm going to play two and two for my down and up. Two and one. Back to two and two. One and two. One, two. One, two, three, four. Three and one. Four and four. 